Hello and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox, and that makes me Tom Clark, your host. Today, we're going to show you some tips and tricks when it comes to removing keyless locking assemblies with these pieces from the fine folks at Climax. Now, keyless locking assemblies work because a series of high strength screws, which is what we have right here, are used to gradually and evenly provide tens of tons of force to drive wedges together, which results in squeezing down onto the shaft and expanding into the hub. Got a shaft right here, got our hub right here. This is what transmits torque. So it's gonna take an equal amount of force to drive those wedges off of each other. Now, the most common mistake is someone tries to use three jacking screws to pop the unit apart. What happens then? Well, now you got three stripped or broken screws and the locking assembly is still in place. Now, this is actually what it looks like when it's put all together. In just a second, we're going to put all these pieces together, put it on our unit, and we're going to show you how to take it apart. Now, if the locking assembly happens to be a double unit, it can be jacked apart simultaneously. However, it's often advantageous to first remove the front inner ring, which is what we have right here. You get it out of the way, and what happens is that exposes the center T-collar with a second set of threaded jacking holes with which to push off the rear inner ring. Now, using screws as removal tools is going to make life so much easier, but you have to prep them correctly. Now, when the locking screws are removed from the assembly, you want to take them to a bench grinder or abrasive belt and quickly grind a flat surface on the end. Put a nice little 45-degree chamfer on the lead thread. Now, this is what we've done right here. I know you may not be able to visualize a 45 degree angle, but trust me when I say we've got the angle and it's nice and smooth on the end. We have done this already to save time, but you can see I mean, this is what we're talking about right here. Now, if these threads are rusty, what you want to do, clean them up with a wire brush wheel and either oil or apply some anti-seize compound to the threads on, on the end of the screws. Now, this is going to give you more jacking force than if they're used as is, all right? Next up, we want to take care of our PPE, which is extremely important if we're going to put this all together. So I trade out my regular glasses for my PPE, but I'm also going to put on some gloves as well so I don't get anything on my hands or my fingers as I'm doing this. Now, once I get these on through the miracle of television, we're going to quickly assemble that. And the next time you see me, this will be all set on our unit, and we're going to get ready to take it apart. Ready? Count with me. One, two, and three. Bam! How about them apples, huh? Don't you just love the miracle of television? All right, let's take this sucker apart, or as we like to say in technical terms, let's disassemble the keyless locking assembly. Yes. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take the prepped jacking screws and insert them into every jacking hole and hand tighten until they're in contact with the surface underneath. Here we go. And I've got five of them on the top that I'm doing right now. All right, now using your wrench, you want to make quarter turns of each screw, and you want to move from one to the next sequentially. Now, you can do this either clockwise or counterclockwise. So do this several times until enough force is put into the system that the inner ring pops loose. Do not do it diametrically opposed, and by that, it's like, you know when you put a tire on? You know, if you change a tire, you'll go this nut. To do it either this way or this way, okay? Here we go. So I'm going to, boom, little quarter turn, little quarter turn, little quarter turn. Quarter turn, little quarter turn, and it should come right out. How about them apples right there? Now, you want to please take care that the hub and or shaft are properly supported so that they don't fall and cause bodily harm. Now, you want to repeat this process for every inner ring. Now, this process should not be rushed, and all of the screws need to share the load evenly and force built up gradually. Now, doing so is going to result in the locking assembly coming apart while also allowing it to be reused. So I'm going to leave this one here, and I know I've got four screws on the inside here, so I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to find the four screws that I need. You want to make sure these are tightened down, there we go, until it contacts the surface, and then we're going to be good to go. All right, quarter turn, quarter turn, Quar oh, it's already coming out, I like that. Quarter turn, and quarter turn, didn't need to do that, but it's already coming out. Ta-da! How about them apples, huh? Seems pretty simple, right? But if this is done incorrectly, you're going to need drastic measures to remove the assembly and often can't reuse it. Good to go. So, if you have any questions regarding the proper installation or removal 
of a keyless locking assembly, then you want to contact your local Motion Industries branch representative. They'll help you out. Oh, by the way, look for other videos like uh, how to install a keyless locking device. Yeah, uh-huh. You can find it on mihowto.com. Hey, thanks so much for watching today's Tom's Toolbox. I'm Tom Clark, your host. We'll see you next time.